How much do I know One Piece? Hey everyone, welcome to Prince of the Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are doing a 120 question One Piece mega quiz. This is our YouTube reaction of the week, and this isn't a donation reward uh, from anyone. This is something I'm deciding to do because I just kind of came across it while scrolling YouTube, and it's like, that would be fun to do for the channel. So, here we are. So, yeah. This is from the uh, YouTube channel Guess Vault Anime, and it's, from what I can tell, probably one of those channels that just puts up a bunch of random uh, quiz questions, um, probably using an AI-generated uh, voice and everything uh, to mass-produce them faster and whatnot. It, it's one of those kind of things. Um... I, I've seen channels like this pop up on my uh, recommended plenty of times, and some of them I've ch checked out. Oh, something's in my eye. Some of them I haven't, uh, but I've never checked out any from this uh, channel specifically. So, as you know, um, if you've watched the channel for any length of time, One Piece is my favorite piece of media. Specifically, the One Piece anime is my favorite piece of media of all time. And a lot of people would be surprised with me specifically noting the anime. Because a lot of people out there have this idea, have this, you know, general belief and um, viewpoint that the manga is better. And that's fine if you believe that, if you think that. It's all subjective, it's all based on personal interests and experiences and whatnot. For me, I prefer the anime because I just prefer anime as a medium. I prefer having voices, music, the full animation, etc., etc. And I've just, for the most part, never been able to, well, I wouldn't say never, but for a long time, have not been able to get into manga and comics and whatnot because for the most part, I don't feel anything when reading them. I, I don't feel like any emotion, whether it's excitement, happiness, um, anger, sorrow, anything. Moments, for example, with One Piece that make me cry when I watch the anime do not make me cry while reading the manga. I don't feel anything for it while reading the manga. And I can't fully explain this. I can't explain why. I can't explain, like, what the reason for my mind doing this is. I, I've theorized that it might be something to do with my autism, but I just, I don't know for sure. All I know is that for the most part, reading manga or comics does nothing for me. And I say for the most part, because there are some really rare exceptions, like the Legend of Korra comics I actually really get into, and I don't know if, exactly why those ones for me stand out and work so well. Um, but yeah, it's like, for the most part, they just don't do it for me. And so, I prefer the anime. And honestly, there's other reasons I prefer the anime for One Piece as well, such as the pacing. And that's gonna, like, confuse a shit ton of people, because people don't like the pacing of the One Piece anime. I think it, I think it actually betters the story. And... Yeah, I'm talking, I know what I'm talking about with the pacing, by the way. Because some people's like, oh, people don't know what they actually mean with pacing. When they say that they're okay with the pacing, they don't, they don't understand what the pacing means. No, I understand. I understand we're also referring to, you know, all the recaps and stretching things out and everything. But I think that actually makes it better. I know that might be incomprehensible to you, and that's fine, because again, it's all subjective. But I think for a story like this, with what it's focused on and what um, genre and style it is, with the kind of like long-lasting journey that this series really like highlights, 
I feel it needs to be stretched out. It needs to be longer. And honestly, there are some parts like uh, in the manga that I feel are rushed through. If I'm being honest here, I think that Oda should have dedicated more time to them. I, I Oda's not a perfect person. He's not a perfect writer. Not everything he does is going to be perfect just because it's the manga. Just because it's the original source. Um, I'll give you one example before we get this going. There is a part in Wano, and I'm not going to give too much away. It's not a huge spoiler for Wano anyway, but there's a part in Wano where Luffy and a sumo wrestler are facing off. Um, there's a character also there named Okiku. If you know, you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. In the manga, I think it's like a single page. It's a single page with a bunch of panels showcasing that scene. In the anime, it's like one to two minutes or so in length. And it's like going back and, and showing like these dramatic uh, back and forth um, expressions and poses and these dramatic shots and everything. I think that improves the scene greatly. Oda rushed through that and, and it had no like real impact because of it. It felt like a throwaway. And in the anime, it actually feels like it has weight. It actually feels like something exciting and fun and entertaining to watch. It actually feels like, you know, it matters. And it doesn't. The thing is, it doesn't actually matter in terms of the story. But it feels like it does. Because more effort is put into it. That's that's my view on it. And the anime is not perfect. There's some gripes I have with the anime. And I've talked about this in the past with various reactions and stuff. But still. Just overall, I think that the anime is better for reasons like this and many others. So, like I said though, it's all subjective. If you prefer the manga like most people, that's perfectly fine. If you think that they're pretty even or whatnot, that's fine. It, it, whatever your opinion, you're entitled to it. Um, but I will say that this quiz will have spoilers to One Piece. Um, I don't know how deep these spoilers are going to go, but if you're not caught up, or at least probably mostly caught up, I don't know exactly how far this goes into the series. Um... I would say watch with just caution. I don't know how big spoilers are going to be. I don't know. Again, there's a lot of details. I don't know with this quiz because I haven't seen it yet. Um, so just be cautious if you're going to continue on. That's all I would say. Um, but we're going to get into this. We're going to see what this is. I'm redirecting it like I do everything just to be safe. Even though this probably won't give me much in the way of copyright issues, I just want to play a safe. Um, that's why I redirect everything. It's, you know, just, just in case. <laughs> so let us get this going and see how many I get right. Cutting in here real quick to remind you of all the awesome content we have on the channel. Between Monday and Friday, we have a plethora of awesome series reactions with two on Wednesday. We also have movie reactions every Saturday and Sunday. I do pre-record them during the week, but I upload them on the weekend. And don't forget all the gaming content we have both on this channel and the Secondary Princess of Gaming channel. We have Horizon Forbidden West every other day and Baldur's Gate 3 every single day on this channel, while we also have Near Automata every Saturday on the other. And don't forget to click the link down in the description below to get to today's reaction. I redirect it just due to copyright reasons. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see more awesome content such as this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get on to the reaction. And we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So there were a couple questions here that were repeated. Um... And some that were a little poorly worded. I, I don't know, like, how much of this was AI. 
Um, at least there wasn't AI art or anything like that, but, you know. AI voicing is still fucking weird. Just not as bad as AI art. Um, but I don't know if, like, the quiz itself is made through AI, but there, yeah, some of the questions, there was, like, a couple questions that were, like, repeated, one or two of those. Um, and then there was, um, then there were some that were just poorly worded. But I got the vast majority of them correct. I got 99 of them correct, and I only missed 21. And, and admittedly, most of the ones I, I missed on, actually, I think all the ones I missed on, I just wasn't correct. There was the, there was one question I had kind of a beef with, um, and it was the one about who was like the, the fourth member to join, because again, it entirely depends on your perspective of what joining the crew means. Um, because again, if you count Luffy, then the fourth member to join was Sanji, which is clearly what their answer was. But if you count Luffy as not joining the crew because he originated and he didn't have to join it, then the fifth would be or the fourth would be Nami. So it it, it entirely depends on your perspective here. It entirely depends on, like, what you mean by join. And I, I don't know what the intent was with that. It seems like they meant, like, they were counting Luffy, too. But Luffy didn't join the crew. He didn't need to join the crew. The crew started with him. He was automatically a part of it. He never joined it. So it's just, it's just kind of weird. Because the only other the only other way you would get Sanji is if you counted Dami as joining right when she started working with them and sailing with them, which isn't the case. That's just not the case. Because if you count that without counting Luffy as the first, then it would be Nami, Usopp. Not, oh, no, it, was, it would be um, Nami. It, Zoro still is first. Zoro, then Nami, then Usopp, then Sanji. So that's the only other way you could get Sanji. But that would just be actively wrong because that would have to count Nami as coming before Sanji, and that just isn't the case. That's just, like, canonically wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this was fun. Uh, most of the questions were pretty diverse. There wasn't a huge amount for the later parts of the series, like, actually surprisingly little. I wish there was more of that, and, and interspersing this with random guess this character that weren't actually part of the 120 questions, it was kind of random. Um, but it, it wasn't a bad quiz. And, yeah, there were actually some that I just didn't know, like bounties and, like, the specific um, name of the hockey and everything. Like, I, I, I'm bad with that. Because I, I usually call them by their by the names that they're said in, like, the subtitles. So it'd be, like, Conqueror's Hockey or the Color of the Supreme King Hockey, whichever term you want to use. I'm not going to say um, whatever it was, Boshoku or something like that. I don't know. I, 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 I never think of it that way. I never call it by that way. I, and most people I see don't either. They refer to it as, again, Conqueror's Hockey or Color of the Supreme King Hockey. Either one of those. Or even just for short of that second one, Supreme King Hockey. They don't call it by uh, the regular names most of the time. The only the only people I have ever seen call it by the, the like, Japanese phrasing there... Um, like the, the one was Ken Bonshaku or something like that. I, I can't remember. I, that's the point. But it's like, the only people I've ever seen do that are like the super weebs. Like, um, you know that the recent shorts of Hell of a Boss? Those kind of people. The people who are way too into it to the point of, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of weird and it's like, you're, you're a little too invested. 
Like, and, and I'm saying that as someone who is a super fan of this series. I'm saying that, like, again, this anime is my favorite piece of media of all time. Period. Even I'm not that bad. Even even I admit it's like it's just a it's just a series. It's it's nothing that important overall. <laughs> I mean, it, it has some personal importance to me, but you know what I mean. It's not that big of a deal. But either way, I would love to know what you got in terms of your scores if you were playing along, just like we do in our uh, in those one hundred question mega quizzes we've done. Uh, I would like to know like how many you got right. Um, whether it's more than me or less than me, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how many people watching this might be bigger fans than me or not. And might have gotten some of the ones I got uh, got wrong. How many of them did you get right? Also, there were no questions of Perona. And that makes me sad because Perona deserves more love. <laughs> you could have definitely uh, like asked about like her, uh, her, her um, negative hollows and whatnot. Like ask what her ghosts are called. Negative hollows. Or who's the only per uh, only person who has been shown to not be affected by her negative hollows. Usopp. It's like, come on. You could have done questions with her. But it, it's not that big a deal. Either way, let me know in the comments below again how much you got and did you enjoy watching this? And if, is there any big question that stumped you? Let me know that as well. For now, though, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.